Let's work on this question number 10. Question on variation. Three quantities P, Q and R are such that P varies directly as the square of Q and inversely as the square root of R. If Q is increased by 20% and R decreased by 19%, calculate the percentage change in P. So the first thing you're going to do, uh, you're going to write this connection. Uh, this one, P varies directly as the square the square of Q. So P varies. This one is a sign of proportionality. P varies directly as the square of Q. The square of Q. Then like that. And inversely as the square root of R. Inversely, you have to put division sign here. The square root of R. So that is how you write it. Then when you remove this sign of proportionality, you replace that one with an equal sign. And when you do that, you must introduce a constant of proportionality. So you have to, the constant will be k. So now you have q squared divided by the root of r. Now, the next statement, if q is increased by 20, so new q, yeah, the original q was 100. So when it is increased by 20, you just take 100 plus 20 so that will be 120 percent which is 120 of 100 q and don't forget that q is squared you have to square these so that is new q then r is decreased by 19 percent so new r so new r this one is decreased by 19 so you take 100, the original was 100%, subtract 19%, you get 81. Well, 100, this is uh, R. And you have to get the square root, since you can see, uh, we must get the square root of that. So let us work out this new Q. Uh, new Q, this one 120 divided by 100, this one will be, so new Q, denoted it by Q1 like this will be 1.1.2 1. 1. squared uh, which is uh, let me just multiply this to be 1.2 squared to be 1.44 to be 1.44 1.44 q squared we we'll square this then for new r i'll note it by r prime uh, 81 over 100 to be 9 over this when you get the square root of this 9 over 10 so it will be 0 0.9 then the square root of r will be root of r like that so now having new q and new r we can therefore have uh, new p now new p you're going to now use the new values for q and r so look at the connection. So we have k multiply by q squared. We got this one is 1.1.44 1. 1. q squared. Then divided by uh, we have 0. 0.9. The new r 0. 0.9 root of r. And uh, when you work out this, you take 1.44 divided by 0. 0.9. And then you multiply by k, that will give, um, just work out that using a calculator. So 1.44 divided by 0 0.9, you get 1.6. So this will be uh, new p, new p will be, we denote this by p prime, it will be 1.6 k q squared divided by root of r so now after doing that and now you can get the percentage change in p now the original p is here this is the original original p then there is the the new p this is the new the new p you know how we get a uh, percentage change uh, percentage change is given by change over the original times 100. 
So what is the change? From these to these, you can see, of course, there's um, an increase of uh, original was 1, then this one is 1.6. Look at that. So from 1 to 1.6. So this will be, the change will be 0 0.6. So you just need to get uh, 1.6 minus 1. 1 1.6 is the new, uh, the new P, then subtract 1. And uh, that will be the change, then divided by, because the, the original is 1. I'm ignoring all the other parts, KQ squared divided by root of R, because that is found in both of these values of P. So I'm just looking at these um, value that is before 1.6 and 1 original is 1 new is 1.6 so change 1.6 minus 1 divided by original times 100 so this will give uh, 1.6 minus 1 it is 0 0.6 times 100 and this will give 60 percent don't forget Simbo. that this is uh increase 60 percent increase so that is how you work out such questions